Hello guys, good evening. This is uh, Mike Padua and we're back to our latest weather analysis here over the Philippine Islands and uh, across the Western Pacific. And this is for today, Sunday until Tuesday, May 19 to 21, 2024. And this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. And this is in partnership with Avoid This Power. Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with You program. If you're interested, just click on the link here. Or if you're watching via Facebook uh, channel, there's uh, a link at our description. Just click on that link as well. And also uh, one of the finest hotels in uh, the Bicol region, Avenue Plaza Hotel here in Naga City. And also uh, the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kabangani Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordado. So let's begin with our update. Well, the weekend is again filled with thunderstorms, localized thunderstorms, particularly in the afternoon or evening. And this area of Luzon is uh, continuing to... Uh, uh, experience um, afternoon or evening localized thunderstorms. They are mostly isolated, just like what happened here in Naga City, uh, area of uh, San Felipe, Barangay San Felipe, and uh, over Concepcion Grande, as uh, uh, recorded rainfall of uh, 14 up to 40 plus millimeters in a span of one hour. So it's uh, quite a relief in these uh, barangays in Naga City and elsewhere across Luzon, Metro Manila, Southern Tagalog provinces, Central Luzon. There are uh, areas where thunderstorms has uh, occurred as well. And I'm going to show to you in, in a while the satellite animation or satellite loop of this event. Elsewhere, some isolated thunderstorms as well will be expected across uh, Samar and parts of the Visayas, as well as some areas in Mindanao. So we still have here a shear line, although it's already uh, diffused, and it is likely to weaken in the next couple of days. And we are watching this near equatorial trough, because there's another LPA forming here to the south of Guam. Meanwhile, shallow LPA 93W, it was once a healthy LPA, but it weakened rapidly and right now it's gone. Okay. And, uh, by the way, those living along these, uh, thunderstorm affected areas, please be careful for possible uh, lightning strikes and, uh, uh heavy thunderstorm, uh, heavy rainfall that could uh, bring some uh, localized flooding in your respective area. Okay, so uh, that's the latest on our graph set. Let's take a look at the fast animation. So there you go. These are the uh, thunderstorms, localized thunderstorms that formed during the afternoon. And here's the area that is starting to uh, develop to the south of Guam. Here's the former remnants. I mean the Here's the remnants of LPA 93W. And if you take a look at the uh, zoom in subtle animation from windy.com, this is around 4 p.m. until 9 o'clock this evening. Thunderstorms are still uh, intensifying here over the eastern sections of Cagayan Valley, but starting to wane down. As you can see, much of Luzon experienced some localized thunderstorms for the past few days. And uh, only a small areas of uh, uh, Palawan, uh, some parts of uh, Visayas experience uh, thunderstorm activity during uh, today. And then uh, also here over central, southern, and western Mindanao. Those are lightning strikes, okay, from the uh, uh, now cast lightning, lightning uh, detector, uh, which is. Uh, uh, in partnership with windy.com. Now, if we take a look at the uh, uh, latest uh, wind and pressure forecast from the European model, this is uh, valid for the next three days. Now, uh, it's already, uh, let me move this to uh, 9 p.m. Uh, here's the LPA that is starting to uh, form to the south of Guam, the new one. And if we take a look 
by tomorrow afternoon, Monday, the LPA will start to march towards the west. And we have a uh, weak easterly wind flow uh, coming back or coming back to life. And it's likely to affect the Bicol region and eastern Visayas. Again, uh, later we're going to show to you the forecast of rainfall across the Philippine Islands for the next three days until Wednesday. So on Tuesday, May 21, you still the LPA approaching uh, southeast of uh, Palau. And the winds here are starting to move more to the move more, <clears throat> starting to uh, uh, and uh, here's the uh, usual easterlies becoming more southeasterlies, while the rest of the Philippine Islands will remain calm to variable winds, very light winds that could pave way for more vertical development. Uh, uh, of these uh, thunderstorms okay and uh, Wednesday afternoon still uh, we are keeping an eye on this uh, low pressure system it's now in the vicinity of Palau and uh, Wednesday uh, it will be over uh, Palau on Wednesday and then uh, some light easterlies across the Bicol region and eastern Visayas will continue so if we take a look at the uh, uh, forecast for the next uh, 5 to 10 days. This is still highly uncertain, less than 30% probability. But you can see, clearly see here that when uh, Saturday or next weekend arrive, the LPA is now along or very near the coastal waters of Eastern Samar and it's becoming an active LPA or probably it could become a tropical depression. And on Sunday afternoon, that LPA will move just to the east of Albay Gulf, a very small system, okay, call this a midget, okay, very small, around uh, 50 to 100 kilometers across the diameter of this uh, LPA based on the European model. We, don't, we still don't know since it's still uh, uh, less than 10 days to go, so we shall wait and see. So based on this uh, forecast, it looks like it could become a TD to the east of Bicol region. And on Monday, May 27, or uh, early morning of May 27, it will traverse Catanoanes and pass over the coastal waters of Partido District. That's Garcitorena, Camuan, okay? And then it could become a tropical storm approaching uh, Polillo on Monday, May 27th, okay, and on uh, uh, early morning of Tuesday, that system is likely to uh, uh, move closer to the coastal waters of, uh, or coastal areas of northern Quezon, and on Tuesday afternoon, it's likely to make landfall, okay, over the southern portion of Aurora, or south of Kasiguran, or maybe in the vicinity of Kasiguran. It depends on the forecast, but this is still highly uncertain, less than 30% probability because the forecast is around uh, 7 to 9 or 8 or 10 days to go, so changes will still occur. So that's from the European model. Now let's take a look at the American model. This is a different uh, scenario because on uh, Wednesday afternoon it could become a tropical depression, Thursday. So this is much earlier compared to the European model. Okay. And it's only very far near the Philippine area responsibility uh, boundary line and it's moving towards the uh, North Philippine Sea without any landfall over the Philippine Islands recurving towards the sea south of Japan okay so this is much earlier now to summarize the track of the American model is somewhat here like that and the European model is somewhere here like that okay and then it will go that way so since the uh, both since both of the models doesn't agree with each other 
So the likelihood of this happening, especially the track, is not yet final. So it will change until the uh, both uh, until uh, both of these uh, models blends. So right now it's still a big question mark on uh, where this system will go. So we will keep you updated, but so far, relax, and uh, it's still early to tell, highly uncertain, very low probability, so there's more to come, or more updates on this LPA, okay, that is expected to uh, have an effect over the Philippine Islands or over the uh, Philippine Sea, so let's wait and see. And if it does develop into a tropical cyclone, this will be the first cyclone of 2024 within the Philippine area of responsibility and across the Western Pacific Basin. Okay, so uh, here's the uh, possibility. The, this is now the area, the window of possibility on where the system could go. So it could go here, here or here so it's still a big question mark uh, and we will keep you updated on that now uh, let's take a look at the ensemble so this is the european model ensemble it shows that most of the tracks is very close uh, vehicle region but again this is still not sure still less than 30 percent probability which is highly uncertain as of this time okay and for the rain forecast for the next three days until Wednesday, by tomorrow afternoon, another round of thunderstorms will be expected in most parts of Luzon, and also here across Occidental Mindoro, small area of uh, southern uh, Davao region. Okay, and then on Tuesday afternoon, 2 to 3 p.m., Another uh, round of thunderstorms will be expected in various sections of central and northern Luzon, including Bicol region. And uh, some areas will also have isolated rain showers and thunderstorms, but not much. Uh, more of the, most of these uh, forecasted thunderstorms are concentrated across Luzon. And on Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon, uh, still, thunderstorm activity will be expected in most parts of central, most parts of northern Luzon, and uh, also uh, uh, parts of Metro Manila, Bicol region, okay, and southern uh, Mindanao, particularly Soxgen. Uh, so far, that's the forecast for the next three days. We will not go into the fourth to fifth and up to 10 day forecast since this is still highly uncertain very low probability so we stick on the three day forecast since the probability of these models are within 50 to 70 percent accuracy okay and here's the uh, three day rainfall accumulation for the next three days the accumulated rainfall that will fall every afternoon or evening most of this will happen here across northern and central Luzon, some very small areas of Bicol region, uh, Mount Halcon area in uh, uh, Mindoro, and here over Soxygen. So uh, we expect this situation will persist. Okay. And uh, before we leave you, here's the wave forecast for the next uh, three days. And uh, it looks like the East Philippine Sea will remain 1 to up to 1.4 meters in wave heights. So that's uh, very low or light waves. Also here, across the uh, central portions or the central inland waters of the Philippine Islands, the wave heights here is very calm, up to just 0.3 meter in wave heights, okay? And here, over the West Philippine Sea, it will remain below one meter in wave height. So, very suitable for fishing and sea travel. So, that's on... Uh, actually, this is uh, valid for the next three days. So, nothing changes until Wednesday afternoon. Most of the waves here will remain 
come to very light. So that ends our update for today, Sunday, and we will return on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday to give you the very latest on that LPA forming to the south of Guam and uh, the forecast of the weather across the Philippine Islands. As for the uh, heat index, uh, again, uh, the range is still within 40 to 50 degrees, so it will remain that way. Uh, just uh, watch out for our postings of these uh, heat index uh, updates at our Facebook uh, uh, page. Mike, Mr. Typhoon, Padua for the very latest. Again, good night to all. Have a great week ahead. Uh, stay safe always and thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.